Fox 5 was given a five minute window by the CCSD to question the assistant superintendent who oversees student and employee health about this surge. Question one, if cases continue to rise after this break, is there the potential for another CCSD pause? We are very confident that we will be back in in session on Wednesday and we'll be moving forward. In the event um, we do need to make an adjustment, we will look at all the pieces and we'll determine what's the next course of action at that time. Question two, what will take place Thursday before the pause to make sure everyone still in schools is staying safe? The district pointed out it launched a new automated reporting system this weekend, a link sent to all parents and staff, and says that is making it easier for anyone to report sick status or get back to school and helps the district contact trace. But as for what's being done Thursday before schools close, we are um, continuing on with our mitigating strategies and we are deploying our central service um, at um, the needed level to, to support our schools in their supervision. Next question. Given that there's been an issue with people reporting on the district hotline, is there concern that cases are much higher in the district than what's being reported. I don't believe that there's a concern. I can tell you as of this morning, we had over 3,600 employee requests on that electronic form. I don't believe that there's additional ones that aren't being reported. I feel our staff are following our processes and protocols in place. And the district says it provides free COVID-19 testing to both students and staff outside of what is offered to the general public so this in CCSD can know their status. There's also a CCSD board meeting tomorrow night to discuss the district's COVID plans moving forward and Fox 5 will be there.